Hello there, welcome or welcome back to my channel, or if you're here, hi, my name is Samantha and this is my channel where I talk all about books. Anyway, today's video is actually not going to be about books. Today we're going to be talking about my personal goals for 2024. So these are all the things that I personally want to achieve in this year. I've already posted a video about my bookish and channel goals for the year, so if you want to go check that out, I'll link that up in the card. But if you wanted to know my personal goals, then here you go, we're going to talk about them. I've got quite a few goals on my list, but some of them are going to be quite easy to achieve. And it's not really a goal, it's just something that I want to happen in the year. Some of them are happening, so it's just going to be something that I get to take off the list and I'm excited about that. But before I get into the goals, I thought I would tell you about how I track my goals. So I use a Notion template to track my goals, which was created by Jules Acree. And I'll link her video where she explained how it all works down below. It was from a few years ago. I originally started using this in 2022 and I'm still using it in 2024 because I really like it. It's very easy to use. It's got like weekly planning as well. I use it for everything. I love it. I am using her Notion template yet again to track all of my goals. So I think I'll do a little screen recording as well. So this is just how like the home page is. So the word that I've chosen for 2024 is progress because I feel like I have been kind of stuck for the last two years but specifically last year I felt very stuck and like there wasn't really anything that I could do to change my circumstance due to a bunch of things. It's not necessarily true there's definitely things I could have done but yeah that's something I really want to focus on this year is just making progress. Getting closer to where I want to be like with my career and things like that. It's gonna be a very exciting year in 2024. So I thought that this was a good word for me. Let's talk about my personal goals. So the first goal that I have on here is to get a new job. My job has become a bit stagnant for me. There's not really anywhere for me to go in terms of growth. I have to basically wait for somebody else to step down from their position. There's like no way for me to just get promoted. It's not going to happen. I've kind of reached this point where there's no room to progress. I kind of need to start looking for something else where I do have opportunities to develop. I also feel like my job is quite easy so I don't really use my brain as much as I would like to. It's just not fulfilling me the way I want it to. So yes, I would like to hopefully start a new job. The second kind of goal that I have, which isn't really a goal because it's like something that's happening, but I guess it is because there's been so much planning involved, but I'm going to be getting married this year. So in October, I'm getting married and I'm so excited, but it's been so much work and there's still so much work to do. Yeah, I guess it kind of is a goal to like finally have this wedding that I've been putting so much work into. That's another goal, I guess. My next goal is I'm not going to actually share the number but I have basically have a savings goal. I would like to reach a certain amount of money in my savings account if I can. Obviously a lot of that money is then going to go to the wedding but I want to just make sure that I keep on track with still putting money away for the future because in the future I'd like to do a master's degree and also we want to buy a house. It's always good to be saving so yeah. The next goal that I have is to go to the gym at least four days a week. In my ideal world I would be going five days a week and then also doing an extra day of exercise but that's not necessarily going to be in the gym. I have really been slacking with the gym recently. I was so good in May to kind of the beginning of August I fell off because I kept on getting sick over the summer. I got sick like three or four times in a very short span of time. It was ridiculous and so I just had to keep on taking breaks from the gym and then it just was really difficult to get back into the habit and I never really fully got back into it but I really need to be going to the gym because I have my wedding dress and it's a little bit small so I absolutely have to go to the gym at least four days a week. So yeah, I, I need to be in the gym working out in preparation for the wedding. The next goal that I have is one that I had last year and didn't do at all, I think, but that is to get back into yoga. I used to do yoga all the time. I love it. And also I feel like I'm not very flexible and that doesn't really help with my workouts. So yeah, I would really like to get back into doing yoga like twice a week, something like that for now and working on my flexibility and just getting back to that habit of taking time to myself. Okay, so the rest of these goals are things that like would be nice. However, I really would like to also do all of them. It's still kind of the goal. First one I have is to improve my Spanish. I studied Spanish at university and at one point I was almost fluent and I still understand pretty much everything. Like I can follow a conversation really easily but when it comes to responding I 
freeze up a lot of the time and I really want to work on that because like I went and did a freaking degree in it and now I feel like I can't even speak it even though I know I can I just get really like shy about it I don't think it helps that the main people I'm speaking Spanish to are my in-laws because my fiance is Colombian and his parents don't really speak any English or like barely any English so I mainly speak to them in Spanish and I think that makes me even more like nervous about it because I'm like I don't want to mess up and say the wrong thing in front of like my in-laws you know but anyway because my fiance is Colombian I have a perfect speaking partner with me all the time and so yeah I want to improve my Spanish so for January I'm setting myself the goal of speaking with Alex for three hours a week which probably doesn't seem like a lot but it's because I'm just thinking about like logically like for timing like I'm not gonna want to come home from a long day at work and try and speak in another language but I can do it on my days off and I normally have like two or three days off a week so I can do like one hour a day or like one and a half hours a day on my days off basically I like slowly work up to doing like full days and then like maybe when it's just us always in Spanish or almost always in Spanish I don't know I just need to improve and I cannot slack on it anymore okay the next goal that I have is quite ambitious I would like to run a half marathon I started getting back into running in like October but I've only been doing like five kilometers which if you didn't know a half marathon is 21 kilometers so more than four times what I'm currently running I've also never run more than five kilometers I don't think I've definitely walked more than five kilometers but yeah, walking and running are two very different things. So yeah, I would like to slowly work my way up to doing a half marathon distance. Like I'm not actually going to sign up for a race because I know that like it's, they're quite competitive to even be able to take part in the race. But yeah, I would like to just be able to run that distance and then maybe in the future I can actually sign up for a half marathon. Ultimately, I would love to run a full marathon at some point, but that's too much. <laughs> that's too much for now. So yeah, if I could just run a half marathon distance, I would really love for that to happen. So my goal is is to be able to do that by June, which I think is a good amount of time for me to slowly work up to doing like 10K and then 15 and then slowly make my way to 21, which is just sounds like so much, but I would like to do it in the future. And then the last goal I have is to travel. I love traveling personally, mainly because I hate living in the UK. So yeah, whenever I can leave the UK, I'm happy. So yeah, I've got quite a few travel plans. So I've kind of put them as goals, but it's just like things to look forward to more than an actual goal. But anyway, so those are all of my personal goals for 2024. Please let me know some of your personal goals down below. I would love to know. But that is all that I have for this video. So I hope you liked it. If you did, please give a thumbs up. If you're new here, feel free to subscribe down below. And if you made it all the way to the end of this video, please leave me like the list emoji because I feel like, you know, this is like a to-do list type of vibe. So yeah, leave me like the list emoji down below. But that's all. So I'll see you very soon with another video. Bye. Really? Why? Oh my goodness. My cat. I specifically laid out a blanket for her to lie on and because I didn't want her lying on my sweater. And she just got up and came over and lay down on my sweater again. That's not where you're supposed to be. Oh my goodness. You in the backyard and you're all fine in the summer. Stay there for three weeks where we learn to love each other. Wrote you a letter, sent a message to the captain. Skip to the present.